<sighs> okay, what's up guys? Um, we're back again at the story or conquest and we're gonna continue the act 2 we, so we just arrived to Sumeru City and our test now is to find Dunyurzat. Mm, okay, it should be down here. I'm just gonna fly down like down like this. And we just arrived again in the theater. The stage. Dunyurzat, we're back! Just as promised, Traveler and Paimon. I'm so glad that you two came back to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. Looks like we made it back in time. <laughs> Indeed. The festival's tomorrow. We've been preparing for so long that I can't help but feel a little nervous. There's no uh, need to be nervous. Paimon's yeah. sure that Lesser Lord Kusanali will feel everyone's gratitude. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Paimon. I hope that everyone who comes to the festival will also have a good time. Speaking of which, um, did you manage to make your way to Port Ormos? Discover anything over there? Of course we went! A lot of things happened there. Unfortunately, we didn't find any new information on Lesser Lord Sonoli. But instead, we're only left with more questions. Uh, I see. Sounds like you two had another exciting adventure. If there is another chance, I would love to join. My lady, if you went to Port Ormos in your current state, we'd both be in for a lifetime of trouble. Dia! You are eavesdropping! <laughs> it's called covert protection. Keeping an ear out for what's going on around my employer is part of the job. No, it's basically eavesdropping. You just don't want to admit it's it. It's alright, Dia. <laughs> I merely said I would like to go. I know better than to think my body could handle it. The festival's tomorrow. I've been doing nothing but causing trouble for you. So, Dia, please take some time to relax. I'll be- mm, even when you put it that way, it still doesn't feel right. Don't worry, my guardian knight. <sighs> okay, fine, but only tonight. Hmm. Tomorrow's a big day, and many no-good scumbags are gonna try to take advantage of that. Ah! Oh, uh, you two must be exhausted from your long journey back to the city. Uh, my apologies for not realizing this sooner. I mean, I've already it's prepared fine. A room for you to rest. Please follow me. Whoa, you're so thoughtful. Paimon's so ready. Okay, so we will. Um. Dunyazar just prepared a place for us to rest, I think. It should be. Wait. It's outside the, theater, the stage. Okay. We need to go out from the... What is it called again? The hall? Or whatever place it is. Okay, it should be this way. I'm just gonna... Run. Here we are. It's also fairly close to where I've been staying. It looks really um, nice! Yeah. I think so. Sorry for the trouble, didn't use that. <laughs> Not at all. It, just tell me more about your adventures when you next get the chance. That's uh, Paimon's specialty! Paimon can tell you stories next time! About our plans for tomorrow. Oh, you don't mind? How about we all walk around together tomorrow? All of my friends will be okay. working at the festival. And Dia is still insisting on her covert protection. Yeah. It'll be pretty hard to relax and enjoy mm. the festival if Dia's constantly hovering over you, right? I'll keep you company tomorrow. Then let's meet at the nearby bazaar first thing tomorrow morning. Have a great night. It's a deal. Good night, Dunyarzad. I may be too excited to fall asleep tonight. See you tomorrow. Okay, I see you tomorrow. I really look forward to the Sub-Zero Festival too. Will there be lots of yummy food? Oh no, I no. I wonder about that. Thinking about food is just going to keep Paimon up all night. The earlier we sleep, the better. Let's go inside, Traveler. Okay, let's go inside. Nice one, Paimon. Nice restraint <laughs> for your food. Did we oversleep? Well, I wonder about that. We should go meet Dunyarzad right away. Okay, we should meet Dunyarzad one uh, right away. Go to the appointed place and talk to Dunyarzad. It should be. Oh, wait, where's what? Wait, wait, wait. I thought we we're going to the hall, but it doesn't. Oh, okay, this is the hall, but okay, anyway, there she is. Traveler, Paimon, I've been waiting for you two. Good morning, 
thing, Dunyarzad. We must have overslept a little bit. <laughs> Not at I all. I think so. I arrived early. Oh, today is finally here. I must cherish every moment as if it were gold. You've worked hmm. so hard for this day. You gotta enjoy it to the fullest. Exactly. <laughs> you know it. Oh, it's just that, um, as expected. I had some trouble falling asleep last night. I'm hoping mm -hmm. my body won't be too much of an issue today. Well, but shall we? Let's start with the stalls over there. I thought the festival was supposed to be inside the hall. Many vendors came out of the blue the to support hole. the event, and they insisted on covering costs themselves. Let's go give them some business. Okay. They all said that contributing to a lively festival atmosphere is more important than money. Especially since we don't often get to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. Uh, okay. Ooh, they're selling food over that way! Let's go take a this okay, is take a look. A stall offering foods from the Haft Mewa feast. Oh, you could tell straight away. I thought most people nowadays wouldn't know. Mushrooms, flowers, and all kind of fruit? It's all vegetarian stuff! Aw, Paimon's a little disappointed. So, what's the Haft Mewa feast you mentioned just now? It's another sub festival tradition. People used to set their tables with seven different foods. Generally speaking, okay. the most common selections were foods like Rukushifa mushrooms, lunar lotuses, Sumera roses, sunsetias, kapalatas, hara fruits, and zaytun peaches. Kapalatas, hara fruits. Hara fruits. Oh, and they're still they're still saying the whatever lotus name is as lunar lotus. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it lunar lotus also. So the Sub Zero Festival is a vegetarian holiday. <laughs> you don't have to be a vegetarian to enjoy the spread. We just use the seven foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archon. Ah, I see. But if that's the case, if Sumeru uses vegetarian food to represent the Dendro Archon, then wouldn't the Pyro Archon's festival be full of food like roasted fowl, juicy meatballs, grilled steak? Oh, I wonder Charlie, about that. We have to go to Netlon as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your wish comes true one day, Pyro. That, that makes sense. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's check out uh, the other Dear customers, spouse. would you like to try your hand at alchemical divination? What's alchemical divination? Those two things sound like they'd be fun to try together. Right? I, I think the same so. When I first heard about it. It is said to be a mysterious craft invented by none other than Lesser Lord Kusanali herself. So, hmm, how does interesting. It work? It's quite simple. After you give me any two alchemical reagents, I'll use them to perform a random transmutation. Sure sounds random. So random that it will probably fail. That is precisely what we need. After the transmutation fails, your one and only diviner here will interpret the remnants. Mm, this entire thing is way too random. Well, according to Lesser Lord Kusanali, everything is interconnected. And all that occurs can be traced back to fate. You could say this is a pearl of old wisdom. Why does everything um, sound so much more credible when Dunyarzad says it? Are you guys working together? <laughs> so that's the true wisdom behind it. This young lady sure knows her stuff. So, how about it? Want to give it a try? Okay, I guess I can give it a go. So we can give literally anything to be uh, mixed to for the ex for the alchemic stuffs. How about I give Star's Room? Together with uh oh lunar lotus. Okay, I'm gonna give stars room and lunar lotus. I mean those are all dendro plants. Okay, one moment. Hmm, it's the moon. The moon. Paimon wants what? to take a look too. Uh, is it? It looks more like a pie that Paimon bit into. Hmm. Generally speaking, the moon signifies... It means... Uh, wait a moment. Is he what really does it mean? It up in a book? Oh, I remember now. It means illusions and lies. Illusions and lies. Illusions and lies? 
That sounds rather ominous. Yes, but this book says that if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. He's not even trying to hide his book anymore. Naturally, fate will only ever show you the beginning of a journey. It is up to you to forge your own ending. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> Guess that was still pretty interesting. Okay, on to the next stall. Okay, let's go to the next stall. They say the sub Zeros Festival was very lively a long, long time ago. Large flower carriages used to parade through the city. As they headed towards Port Ormos, people would throw flowers, candy, and liquor all along the way. Junior's mm -hmm. eyes are sparkling right now. Oh, I wish I could have seen that spectacle. But if you ask me, I'm sure Nilu's dance of sub would be just as impressive. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Um, okay, to okay, we just arrived. What are, what are these children doing? Attention! Soldiers, fall into formation if you want any Yalda candies. Um. Oh. It's a weird guy with a weird hat! Hey! It's Dunyarzad! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Dunyarzad, the children love you even more than the Yalda candies. In the few short days it took to prepare for the Sabzerus festival, the children have all grown very fond of you. Uh, um. The Hallowed Knight of Flowers. It's an honor that you know my name. <clears throat> Attention! In the name of Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, I commend you on your contributions to the glorious Sabzerus Festival. All right, little soldiers. Take your Yalda candies and don't forget your loyalty to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dismissed! Oh. Yes, Knight <laughs> Ferris! Uh, just what is going on here? Yeah, I, I was about to ask the same question. <laughs> Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is another sub festival icon, and one immensely popular with children. In the past, the actor portraying Ferris would also sit on a flower carriage. I almost read it as a Knight of Phonius. It's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can make such wonderful memories today. As are we to you, Vihar. <laughs> oh, not at all. Oh, speaking of tradition, do you want some Yalda candies? They're a festival staple, and I happen to have some boxes readied here. Take a look and pick whichever one you want. Whichever one? Um, don't these boxes all look the same? How about we use our elemental side? <laughs> that is the fun part. Each box contains a random flavor. It's up to the luck of the draw. Flavors include lavender melon, hara fruit, sunsetia, those all sound pretty good. And there's Can I use a mental vision here? And Oni Kabuto. Huh? What's up with those two flavors? Oni Kabuto is a little spicier than Lizard Tail. Tanyarzad, you tried them before? Hmm. Traveler, help Paimon pick one. Paimon wants the Sunsetia flavor. I doubt I'll be able to get the exact flower flavor it's you all want. Right. Paimon believes in you. I also believe uh, in your intuition. Oh, okay. I have to use my intuition here. One to five from left to right. Which one do you want? Number one to five from left to right. Wait, wait, wait. These boxes are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want? Well, what was the Sunsetia again? Number two. Uh, wait. This one. How am I supposed to know about this? Uh, let me give it a little thought. Number one. Okay, I can I can check uh, every every what is it called again? Uh, every pot. Let me give it a little thought. Sensetia. Okay, what what's the Sensetia's colors? Uh, its color is kind of green. Wait, I'm pretty sure the number. Two and the number four is practically the same. Wait, the color is also the same, but uh, let me give it a thought. Okay, anyway, I'm just gonna use my guts and go to number four. Let's see. <laughs> Excellent work. That is indeed Sunsetia. Wait. Oh, I just got the correct answer. Paimon bet you survived so many epic battles because you had incredible luck, and Paimon was right. 
Uh, <laughs> Here's your Sunsetia flavored candy. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Night of Candies. It's Night of Flowers, not Night of Candies. <laughs> Paimon really wilted the carriageless Night of Flowers. They all basically sound the same. We got our candy, so let's keep going. Oh, uh, actually, I just remembered that I left something behind. Um, since you're here, can you come with me to get it? Um, sure thing. You probably forgot because you're so excited about the Sub Zero's festival. <laughs> uh, how embarrassing. All right, let's return to nearby quarters. We gotta, we gotta go back after we visit this stalls. You know. <laughs> okay, we just got back here. We're too late. Who knew the little lady was such an early riser? I know, right? Hey, wait a minute. Boss, isn't that her? Ah, no, what? Oh, and... that most certainly is. We're in luck. She's walking right into our clutches. And you're about to have a bad time after this. And hello there, you oh, again. Who are you? The Aramites. I don't believe the Homayamis hired you. <laughs> That's right. We haven't received any of their mora, but I wonder how much the Homayamis would shell out to get you back. They're a gang of kidnappers! Traveler, hurry and protect Dunyarzad! Professional here, ready hey, to go. did you scumbags even consider that the Homayamis might have hired a merc that outclasses you? Your... Dia! Dear the Flame Mane, no wonder we mercs haven't heard anything about you for so long. You sold your unruly mane to the highest bidder. Don't speak so disrespectfully. My family started working with her as gratitude for her past kindness to us. Don't worry about it, my lady. Just some friendly banter between mercs. One punch and those rabid dogs will expose themselves for what they really are. <laughs> well, I, I do Aren't agree with you. your claws all dull by now? Don't get too cocky. Are you really saying you can Traveler, even take Miss Junior's ad to a safe location? Wait, I'm gonna yes, fight with you. Gonna stay and help. There's too many of them. Yeah, exactly. Mm, you're right. All right, fine. Wait, we're we Please actually gonna to escort Junior's ad? Don't waste your time worrying mm. about me. This is my job. Okay, I just misunderstood something. I didn't really read it. But anyway, where should I go again? I gotta escape within the time limit. Okay, I just have to run this way, I think. Should be pretty easy. I mean... It's... it's... Dunyarzad, are you okay? You look a little pale. Are you in shock? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. My body always reacts like this whenever I exert myself too much. You sure you're okay? I'll be fine after some rest. I'm more worried about Dia. After all, none of this would have happened if I hadn't insisted on coming out today. She's protect you, protecting you because she agrees with yeah, you. Don't worry. Yeah, you don't have to worry. Even though we we could we could also fight with her, but uh, your safety comes first, right? My lady, traveler, found ya. Okay, Dia, perfect. You took care of them so fast. Any more of them? Or rather, did anyone follow you? Mm, I don't really think so. Yeah, your arm. Oh. oh. This? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Normally, they wouldn't have been able to land a hit on me at all, but I'm still getting used to this new greatsword. Please, let me take a closer look. Come on, it's nothing. Us mercs aren't as fragile as you think. Hold on. You and you're just a famous human, okay? Uh, what happened to the one you were using before? Uh, about that. Well, I sold it, because I was low on Mora. Stuff like this happens every now and then. It can't be. The anonymous donation that was used for the venue's final round of preparations? <sighs> uh, hey, Miss Dunyarzad, I wasn't trying to make you cry, and I'm not gonna lose my commission because I made my employer cry, am I? <laughs> okay, making your employer cry won't affect your commission, but selling your weapon without permission and getting hurt? 
have to reevaluate your performance. <laughs> You're so unreasonable, my lady. Uh, talk to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, dear. Don't be like that. I get embarrassed really easily. <laughs> Are you feeling unwell again, Dunyaza? Okay, she's feeling my unwell lady, again. Your condition. Traveler, can you take her somewhere to rest? Leave Truly. it to me. I'm sorry. Let's take her somewhere else nearby and let her rest. But why wouldn't we take her back home instead? I mean, home is supposed to be the best place to rest. Are you feeling better, Dunyarzad? <laughs> yes, much better. Just give me a few moments and I'll be good to go. Dia's expression just now, when she mentioned your condition. I didn't realize you were concerned about it. I guess I shouldn't continue to keep it a secret. I was actually born with Elazar. It's terminal now. Elazar. I can't believe it's Elazar. Oh, uh, you've already heard of Elazar. In that case, you probably know about its severity. Okay, I totally kind of Sumeru's forget. current medical advancements still haven't been able to find oh, a cure. Oh, yeah, yeah. The it was progression can only be delayed through environmental therapy. It was the same, the same symptoms as Kali. Uh, now that I remember. There's no need to be sad. I've always lived with Elazar, and I came to terms with it a long time ago. Compared to the simple fact that I'm afflicted with this, its effects on my life have been much more painful. I know that my family loves me dearly. They've done all they can to provide the best environment for me, so that I can live for that much longer. Did you know? Before I ran away from home this time, the world outside of my home didn't even know that I existed. Since I was a child, all I could do was sit on my bed and stare at everything outside of my window. I'm sure okay, my that's family's sad. worried and disappointed in me for running away, but I... I just didn't want to have any regrets. I wanted to meet other people. To me, there's nothing more beautiful than being able to meet and speak with others. Not to mention the incredible time spent preparing for the festival. The joy on everyone's faces here. And all the support I've received from friends like Dia. This way, when my final day does arrive, it will be less sorrowful. At the very least, many people will remember that I once existed in this world. Right? Well, you still have happy times yet to come. But of course, I'll remember you. Uh. As long as you don't forget Paimon, Paimon also won't forget about you. Uh, no, even if you forget Paimon, Paimon will still remember you. Okay, that's pretty sad, Paimon. <laughs> oh, thank you too so much. I apologize for the depressing conversation. This is, this is out of character for me. I don't really think so. It's just yourself, okay? To be honest, Lesser Lord Kusanali gave me the courage to do all of this. If it weren't for her encouragement, I wouldn't have taken that first step. Well, you're already so strong for never giving up. Thanks. There will always be frustrations in life, but I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets. Exactly. Oh, right! Isn't it almost time? Huh? Almost time for what? Isn't the dance of sub about to begin? It's the part of the festival that I've been looking forward to the most. And we're gonna look for Nilu's dance. Nilu will recreate that legendary scene with her most splendid dancing. And the sub festival will conclude amid everyone's applause and blessings. And with that, my wish will also... Then what are we waiting for? Let's go to the stage! Yeah, yeah of course, why not? We should still make it in time. Okay, let's go to the stage. Um... Go to the Grand Bazaar and see the dance of sub -Zerus. Wait, the- Oh yeah, the name was Grand Bazaar! I forgot about the name- Wait, why is it up here? Um, okay, anyway, we just- Okay, it's actually going down this way. Yeah, the Grand Bazaar. It's here, and we have to go up this way, I think? Were you not aware that the law prohibits this type of performance from taking place without prior permission? Over there! Uh, I think I just saw the Academia's Grand Sage. Why is he here in person? But the dance of sub is one of the key parts of the sub Festival. If we can't perform it... The sub Festival? 
The law also prohibits the private hosting of large-scale religious festivals. Only the Academia can host such an event. Ah, uh, you, you gotta be kidding to me. Resist, we will have to order an investigation into every single event organizer. The Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How... How did things turn out like this? The Academia was originally responsible for the Subzerus Festival. But they failed this responsibility for many years. I need to speak with them. Uh, if we force their hand too much, the situation may get ugly. I mean, the situation is already ugly, but just don't go. This is a hard pill to swallow, but... You're right. Things would only get worse. Art. Dance. Aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities in this land of knowledge and reason? Our Archon created the utopia that is Sumeru City for all scholars who sought validity, verity, and truth, while people like you wish to defile it. No. I believe what? that our Archon never rejected the arts. Even the Goddess of Flowers dedicated a dance to her. With your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. What the? This when we return, really... have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Nyagarbaha day that prohibits public art performances. We will announce it to the public later via the Akasha. Understood. I will inform him when I return. Hmm. The Subzeru's Festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Why are they... They are not even worshipping Kusanali. Nilu. Are you okay? It's so sad. It's like... I mean... The condition is kind of similar, like Venti's, but Venti actually doesn't really mind it. But for Kusanali, I'm I'm sure it, it's really sad for her. Oh! Dunyarzad! <sighs> you all saw that just now? The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. Yeah. Let's go somewhere the Academia can't find us and perform there. Ah. Uh. But how do we let everyone know? Or we could get people to block them off so they can't interrupt the performance. Ah, no. They just threatened to investigate the organizers. If we were caught... Nilu, it's alright. Don't worry about it. But you've yeah. been looking forward to the Dance of sub zero so much. And I know how important this festival is to you. I don't want you to have any regrets. It's okay. Seeing you care this much about my feelings is more than enough. It would be too risky to continue the Subzerus Festival at this point. I don't want to get everyone in trouble. If you say so. But... You can sneak out for the next Subzerus Festival, right? We'll make sure the next one is a smashing success. <sighs> the next one. The next yes. one? Okay, it's a promise. It will be a smashing success. You shouldn't really promise something like that. It's not even certain, you know? Paimon can't believe this is how things turned out! Those heartless geezers! Uh, is there anything else like we can do? It really is okay. There's nothing we can do about it. <sighs> Still, I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Milo's dance. Hmm... So the Subzerus Festival was forced to come to an unfortunate end, you know? It's a shame the festival uh, ended the way it did. Nilo and Dunyarzad promised to make the next Subzerus Festival a success, but Dunyarzad is running out of time. I'm sure she knows that very well. Yeah. Oh, what was that? And secure to construct the most stable framework possible. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's that's the Grand Sage. The project has entered its most critical phase. Power has begun to flow from. What's going on? Ah! Oh, we're gonna be late. It's all because you wouldn't get out of bed. We should go meet Dunyarzad right away. Okay, we gotta go to Dunyarzad really fast. Also, this is interesting. I can sleep here. So we have we have a home here. I see. 
at least a temporary one. Um, we gotta go this way. Okay, there she is again. Uh, good morning, Dinarzad. Sorry we're late. Not at all. I arrived early. Uh, you seem kinda tired. Did you not get enough sleep? I'm doing well. There's no need to worry. Shall we go? Let's start with the stalls over there. Sure! Uh, Traveler? Why are you just standing there? Yeah, let's just get going. Where should we go again? Wait, are, aren't we uh, restarting this even? Ooh, they're selling food over that way! Let's go take a look! Wait, is it... Is this... Is this a... Uh, wait a second. Yeah, this feels somewhat familiar. Exactly. Look at the quest. Wait, this feels somewhat familiar. Didn't I told you? <laughs> Are we in a time loop or something? Let's see what's going this on is here. All offering foods from the Huffed Mewa feast. You are quite well informed. They're all plants. Actually, what is the Huffed Mewa feast you mentioned just now? It's one of the Subzerus festival's traditions. People used to set their tables with seven different foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archon. Exactly. Something feels really familiar. This is loop. This is a loop. It's appear to be in the form of the moon. Really? I thought it looked like some kind of food. See? Hmm. I told you. The moon signifies... Hmm. It's escaping me for now. Is he really looking it up? Oh. Right, <laughs> but if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely um, rise. Yeah, I definitely Understood. heard this before. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just learning. I guess that was still pretty in. We definitely restarting this so, uh, even next? thing. Um, what's next now? But how exactly do we end up? Ended up in this, this situation, and what's next? We're gonna we're gonna meet these kids. Yeah, the next one we we met these kids before. Let's see. Um, why is it taking so long, anyways? Okay, I guess that's just like this. Nice. All right, soldiers. Now that you yes, yes night, Ferris. What's going on? Is the Ferris the night of <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna skip some <laughs> some of this me. part. Oh, do you want some because we already we already uh, got through these conversations, right? <laughs> and there's also lip uh, mm. Great! These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want? Okay, we we were picking the number four. As I ah, see. Excellently chosen. Number four is indeed Sunsetia. <laughs> Paima bet you had incredible luck, and Paima was right! Exactly. I don't think there was just luck now. What now? I don't know why, but I know it must have been number four. Oh, how's that possible? It's obviously random. Uh, what a strange feeling. Maybe we didn't sleep very well last night. Or maybe we slept too much. I wonder about that. Uh, I'm sorry, the news art, but I need to leave for a uh, moment. Uh, sure. Huh? Where are you going? Okay, go to Lambert's Tavern. Uh, why, why do I have to go to Lambert's Tavern now? Let's see what's going on here. Uh, do we have some? Did I did I miss something in the previous in the a first loop? Of deja vu. Oh, we just have to tell Paimon about oh, this thing. Oh, Paimon knows what that is. It's when you feel like you've already experienced whatever is going on. In that yeah. case, Paimon also felt something like that today. But that's just our brains playing tricks on us, isn't it? Oh, Paimon does feel the same too. So why do you run here in such a hurry? Um, I want to see if I can get rid of this oh, deja vu. It. You're intentionally doing things you usually wouldn't, and seeing if you still get that same feel. Hmm. Welcome, you two. Are you here for lunch? 
What would you like to eat? One coconut charcoal cake, please. Got it. You don't look like you're from these parts, but I gotta say, you've got good taste. <laughs> I'll give this order to the kitchen. Coconut charcoal mm. cake? Isn't it that... that burn thing that didn't look tasty at all? Oh, Paimon understands what you're trying to do now. You'd never normally order something like this. Yeah. And... There it is. That the thing? Uh, isn't this going a bit too far? Here it goes, I guess. So we're eating something uh, that... How oh, no. It? The look on your face is telling Paimon that it tasted awful. No, it actually tasted really then, good. You mean... This flavor, I've definitely eaten this before. Wait, did we? That's impossible. We were just talking about how gross it looked. Would this be a case of taste bud deja vu? Uh, looks like I tried this before. Did I Did I really try this Paimon before? Paimon also gets the impression that we've been here many times, even though we are regulars. Um, how about we go out again and try something else? Okay, this is getting interesting. We have something, some sort of loop, but... I don't really understand what's going on here, but anyway, let's leave Lambert's there for, for now. Okay, let's leave the tavern. Uh, where was I again? Uh, okay, anyway, what now? And... Hey, is sitting by yourself on that bench over there. Okay, that's how it was supposed to be again. What a coincidence, Dunyarzad. We meet again. Uh, why are you sitting here all by yourself? Oh, I ran into some kidnappers just now. But thankfully, Dia came to my rescue. I started to feel unwell after that, so I sat down here. Kidnappers? And then? Oh my goodness, are you hurt? I'm okay. Dia's arm got scratched, but it isn't serious. Whew. <sighs> That's a big relief. But, Dunyarzad, you seem a little down today. It's the Subzerus Festival, and you Not at all. I've always been like this. Excessive physical exertion or strong emotions tend to aggravate my illness. Besides, no matter how amazing today may be, it is but a single day. After however many more days, my time will come to an end. Paimon doesn't quite follow you. And Paimon feels like something's really got you down right now. Mmm, I'm so sorry for leaving you behind that earlier. It really is fine. I don't mind. I just experienced a number of strange events. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Huh? Did something happen? Dunyarzad, have you ever felt deja vu? You know, like when you've already experienced something that's happening right now? Deja vu? No. But my days have been the same for years now. Even if I were feeling deja vu, I suppose I would already be used to it. Oh, Paimon sees. Then, is it only the two of us? Okay, this is just my assumption, but... Looks like Lesser Lord Kusanoli is trying to loop us to... Her birthday and try and uh, she asked us to stop the interference of the Grand Sage uh, for celebrating her birthday by the God of Flowers dance one that which is gonna be performed by Ni by Nilu. It's just my assumption, but uh, I haven't I haven't know what's what exactly is going on. But let's see what's going. It's almost time. Huh? Time for what? Nilu's dance of Subzerus is about to begin. Uh, hey? Let's go. This is this is a loop. As I told you before, this is a loop. So, um, okay, we just got back to the stage and we found this again, of course. With your lack of intellectual credentials, I do. Let's not skip this part. When we return, have the understood. Mm, the sub zeros. The Grand Sage definitely is 
I would say he's stupid. He didn't really realize that Kusana Lee wants, to, wants her birthday to be celebrated, and now it's cancelled by you whoever okay? you are. Oh, Junior Zod. It's okay. But you've been really. It truly is unfortunate, but. It's exactly the same. What's but... going on here? I mean, we actually oh, changed okay. our our behavior, we'll have to try again but next this year. part is still remain the same. The next best way. Uh, no. Paimon can't believe what those heartless geezers did. And Paimon also did the same thing, I think. Okay, the Tavdiris Festival was forced to come to an unfortunate abrupt end. Okay. So in the end, hmm, maybe it really was because of exhaustion. Uh, I didn't thought about it, but my head does feel so very heavy. Weird. Then, how about we settle in and get a good night's sleep? For now, we can chalk things up to exhaustion. We can do more thinking tomorrow. Oh, what now? Ah, oh, did it sound again? Continue to monitor the variances in the data. Okay, looks like we're gonna have the third loop. Okay, we looks like this is our third loop here. Interesting. Um, okay, the continuation of sub Festival, what? Okay, go to the appointed place and talk to the new Zad. Okay, we're back again. What do what do we have now? Huh? I'm doing well. Great idea! Let's get going! Trevor? Uh, hey, Trevor. Oh. Looks, yeah, this feels all too familiar. Okay, anyway, are we still gonna walk again? <laughs> it's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can enjoy. Okay, let's skip this, please. Oh, oh we just are you interested from the skip in here. Candies? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that simple. Each box contains a. Mm. And there's also huh? no problem. These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want? Also, anyway, why is Paimon react? Uh, still, still reacts the same way. I thought Paimon does does have the deja vu as same as us, but looks like uh, her 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 deja vu thing is not really oh concerned. Oh, I like your confidence. No hesitation at all. Okay. What now? Ha -ha! Knew he always had incredible luck. Number one is Lither Tail. Um, Diamond's not really interested. Oh. Uh, what? He was. That couldn't have been luck. How? How was this possible? I packed all those boxes this morning, and they've been sealed ever since. You couldn't have known beforehand. Mind okay. X-ray vision? Tell us what's going on. Since when did you get superpowers? Traveler? Oh, what now? Did I just saw hey, something? Where are you going? Are we are we rushing through the tavern? What's going on? Did you see something? Follow the I familiar figure. Okay, what now? Oh, there it is. And who is that? Okay, we just found a mysterious creature over there, I see. Follow the familiar figure. The familiar? She's a familiar? Okay, again. Where should I go get next? Okay, there she is. Got him? Okay, we gotta we gotta chase her. Um so okay, it's this way. Looks like we're gonna find her at any time. Or no? Hmm. What are you looking for? Why did we come here? Let's see. Uh, an overwhelming sense Traveling. of the Jafu. 
Okay, there she is again. Found ya. Over there. Okay, Baimon still has no idea. Uh, I, I was sure there was a bird there. Or at least a chicken. Or whatever it is. Okay, looks like uh, it's finally on the end and we finally got her. And there she is. Gotcha. What are you trying to do, you little kid? Hmm. Um, hello? Oh, what's that now? Uh, she was still with us just a moment ago. What's happening here? Why are there two Dunyarzads? Uh... You already know that this isn't your first sub -Zero's festival, don't you? I'm sure uh... you already know how to use this. What is it again? Castle? Where did you get it? What's inside? You should use it too, Paimon. Uh... You know Paimon? Okay, actually, uh, her sounds uh, is kind of familiar. Well, this seems kind of sketchy, but Paimon feels like this is what we should do. Okay. Uh, oh, what are this? Oh, what the? That's the memory of our past travels. I wonder about in a that. Single day? If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have even realized what the heck was inside that knowledge capsule. Hmm. Your memories are still scrambled? Try your best to remember. This isn't the first time we've met, and I answered that question a long time ago. What was it again? Let Paimon think. Oh, it's coming back. Meeting you was the real catalyst for restoring our memories, and the knowledge capsule was just your means of showing our minds the way. Uh, what about everyone else? Why are you only helping the two of us? Your sense of deja vu is stronger than everyone else's, yes? As for an explanation, you two received the blessing of Dendro, and you also have special, sensitive constitutions. It was as if okay. a small sheet of paper was separating those memories from your consciousness. It was as if a single sheet of paper was separating those memories from your consciousness. How about this Dunyazard over here? A familiar question. I think this is the seventh time you asked that. Is as it? As you can see, she isn't doing well. You probably sensed it too. The Dunyazard you were just with is different from the first Dunyazard you met. That first in your zod is in front of you right now, and she doesn't have a lot of time left. Uh, what I need to do right now is to break out of this cycle? <laughs> Looks like you're almost done sorting out your brain. Oh yeah, I'm Nahida. Okay, the name's Nahida. Um, you introduced yourself before. Good. You passed the test. What? Oh, we already know her name before, I see. Everything in this world runs in a loop. This cycle is called a samsara. You, samsara. me, and everyone else are all stuck inside a one-day samsara. As for the truth, that's hmm. on you to find out. If you were told the truth instead of discovering it yourselves, it would literally blow your mind. I don't know how you'd be after that. I can only give you surface level help, like bits of information and subtle hints. For the rest of the time, I'll be doing all I can to slow down Dunyarzad's illness. She looks like she isn't doing well at all. Her illness gets worse after each Sub-Zero's festival. If we can break out of the Samsara, I might mm. be able to save her. But as things yeah. are right now, she's just a small bird in the sky that's about to lose its last feathers. 
All I can do is raise a gale to delay her fall. You sure love to use weird analogies. <laughs> analogies are wonderful tools. They let you use existing knowledge to understand unfamiliar things. Okay, so... Okay, so what should what we so do far, now? What do you think the truth is? Um, let me collect my thoughts, I guess. Okay, let's see. When you enter a state of contemplation, you can choose any text entry to interpret it. This interpretation process involves analysis of text entry and may yield new entries. Once interpreted, you may submit the text as a conclusion. Some text entries can be associated with one another once interpreted. Select associate to choose the other text entry. Then select trigger association. Uh, if one of the text entries can be used as a conclusion, then select that entry before choosing submit conclusion. Okay, interpret this one. The Sub-Zero's Festival of Samsara. We've experienced the sub Festival many times. And the day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual Samsara. Okay, interpret this one. The Grand Sage said, Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Did he mean something more? I wonder about that. Associate, I I could associate this. Wait, I'm gonna reinterpret all of them. Illusions and lies. What do they all mean? What's uh, happening right now seems to have happened before. This feeling has been getting stronger and stronger. My mind feels exhausted, even though I haven't done too much thinking. What is going on? Okay, let's see. The sub Zero's Festival Samsara. We could associate this to trigger association. The sub Zero's Festival Samsara. I think I'm gonna try this one first. The Alchemical Divin Divination Results. Hmm. I can't okay. Seem to cohesively piece everything together. Okay, looks like uh, I couldn't do that one. Lauba trigger this one. Hmm. Okay, let's skip this one. The Jafu. Okay, the Jafu. Oh, it's it's changed into time loop. That should be it. And the flow of time is endlessly cycling within one single day. Okay, yeah, exactly. And let's see the Jafu time loop. Abnormal mental fatigue. Uh. I guess I'm gonna say time loop. Submit conclusion. A time loop. You've given similarly wrong answers in the past. A pity. Okay, a pity. Still the wrong answer? Paimon thought that made a lot of sense. A simple time loop can't explain some of the phenomena. You two are still missing a lot of information. <laughs> Junior Zard. Junior Zard. The sub festival is happening every day, but that doesn't mean we can waste an infinite amount of them. Hurry and find the truth before today's festival ends. Hmm, we gotta find the truth before the festival ends. What now? Let's think about our current situation. To save Dunyarzad, we have to escape the samsara of the sub festival. And to do that, we need to figure out what's happening. Nahida rejected the idea of a time loop, so we must have missed something, right? I yeah, I think so. I say that we've already done this many times, but... Okay, let's try again, I think. That's around for clues about the current situation. Okay, this this one is the fruit fender, and I'd like to ask him. Hey there! Hey, it's you guys again. Where's your cultured friend? She... Uh, she's feeling a little unwell. I see. Did you come back to buy something? I guarantee the freshness of my products. I harvested them from the forest just yesterday. Um, do you ever feel like you're leaving the same huh? day? What brought this about? I hurried back from- mm, um, to put it another way, if you really, really think about it, was yesterday truly yesterday? What kind of philosophical nonsense is this? Didn't you know that no one dreams in Sumeru? 
Go somewhere else if you want to find someone to daydream with. I'm not talking about dream actually, but whatever. Uh, he actually has a point. Is this a dream? No one dreams in it's Sumeru. Ever... Mm, true. It's so weird that people here don't dream. Anyway, if this all really were just a dream, we would have woken up a long time ago. Okay, let's keep asking around. Um for the close okay we're gonna ask the alchemy oh it's you two was my divination so accurate that you felt compelled to compliment me in person uh we actually did run into Ooh, a situation you're really excited about this uh okay let's skip a little bit of this so conversation you're admitting that you don't have a clue anyway what kind of situation did you get into um you've actually divine our fortune many many times <gasps> Hold on a second. What you just said. Are you serious? I knew you weren't going to believe it. Marvelous. Yeah. Truly marvelous. I believe you. Recall the interpretation of your divination. The moon, illusions, and lies. When you say it like that, the divination does say- I believe that the Archon's revelations are never more than vague hints. Anything more specific is beyond the reach of- The book only says, If you trust your instincts and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. So that's how it is. Looks like fortune telling is just- We haven't made any progress. Who else can we talk to? And of course, let's- Oh, let's write the talking to the here. Hmm, Hyma remembers that we tried talking to her a couple of times, but she always thinks we're playing pranks on her. You think she'll brush us off again? Let's try taking her to see the real Dunyurzat. Yeah. If we tap into Dia's strong sense of responsibility as a mercen- mm. At this time of day- Okay, let's go find her beating those, uh, Eremites. Uh, where exactly is her again? Okay, this way. Let's see... Okay, there exactly is she- Oh! I'm She's just fine, finished. my lady. Head. Perfect timing! Paimon, traveler, you came at just the right time. Listen, there was a dangerous ga- Uh, gang of kidnappers had just unbuilt uh -huh. you. You saw? Then why didn't you jump in earlier? You want the traveler to take Dunyar's on somewhere to rest up while you check to see if there's still any kidnappers around. Did Paimon get that right? How did you know what I was going to say? We need to say something convincing. Okay, let's see. Uh, the he has Claymore. Alchemical definition result. I think I'm gonna say the he has Claymore. Her great sword to raise a uh, can I relate with people others? People Sumeru don't dream. Okay, anyway, people from moon, Sumeru don't dream. Illusions and lies. Okay, whatever. My Did you read this one? Okay, I, I, I definitely gonna submit this one. The he has Claymore. You got injured because you won't, you aren't used to your current great sword. I didn't tell anyone about that. Including Miss Dunyarzad, you couldn't have known. And just now, you literally took the words right out of my mouth. What's going on? All right, so this is the situation. Okay, now we explain everything to Dehia and she should trust Kinda us. It's hard to believe what you just told me. First, let me make something clear. Most of us desert dwellers might not be the scholarly type, but we do have basic common sense. Have you noticed something off about Dunyarzad? She's quieter than usual. I'm interested in any Yeah, she isn't this her parents said that this is how she was like at first. Huh? At first? At I don't first. quite understand what you're all talking about. My lady, are you angry? Uh I don't really think so. I'll show you some all evidence. Right. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt since you knew about my great sword. Let's make this a quick trip. Miss Dunyarzad isn't completely safe here. Okay, let's make this a quick trip and we're gonna take bring the here to Nahida. Nahida was here. Oh, I haven't opened it to the waypoint yet. So I guess I'm just gonna teleport this way. But, bef uh, but before that, I'm gonna open this teleport waypoint. Okay, let's go back to Nahida. Okay, we just got back. And there she is. I told you that it won't help to bring anyone here. We just wanted her to see the real Dunyarzad's condition. The real Dunyarzad? Uh, where and who are you talking to? Huh? Uh, 
Wait, what? I told you that you two are special. Other people can't see me or Miss Dunyar's out here. Ah, I see. Now... Okay, she didn't see anyone. Wait. Okay, Hold looks on. like... Over there. Is that... You can see her? Wow. How perceptive. Does she have invisible antennae? Miss Dunyarzad, she's... She's lying down here, isn't she? How's she doing? Her condition's really bad. And she's basically in a coma. How did you know she was here? I... Can sense her aura. I... <clears throat> there are also lingering feelings of something like regret or disappointment. What happened? Do you believe us now? The Subzero's festival has been repeating itself. So, you think the sages are behind this? Yeah, I think yeah, so. They've always been against us. Wouldn't surprise me if they're using the Akasha to intentionally repeat the Subzero's festival as a sick joke. Hmm. You have a point. Aside from the Dendro Archon, the Academia Sages are the only ones in Sumeru who could pull off something like this. Maybe there's more to the Akasha than we know. Hmm, can you tell us anything about the Akasha, uh, Nahida? Right! Didn't you awaken our memories using something that looked like a knowledge capsule? That means you must know something about the Akasha! The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. A Gnosis can do that? No wonder the Akasha is so magical. It's being powered by the Gnosis of Sumeru's Archon. And they're getting... Uh, they're getting targeted with the Fatui. So, uh, this Nahida you mentioned, what did she say? She said, and Paimon quotes, the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. Compiles the wisdom of the entire populace and grants knowledge to the people. Hmm, wait. And what I would get they the do? grants knowledge part. That's what people have always used the Akasha for. But compiling the entire populace's wisdom? How does that work? Did she mean that the sages enter new knowledge into the Akasha? Hmm, most information in the Akasha comes from the Ermin Oh soul. yeah, that sounds about right. What do you think? Um, let's see. People from Sumeru do not dream. Information on the Akasha, abnormal mental, fatic, tijafu. Uh, let's see, I'm What's gonna happening it. right now seems to have happened before. This feeling getting stronger My and stronger mind feels exhausted, even though I haven't done too much thinking. Let's see. Information okay. on the Akasha. Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. Mm. People in Sumeru don't dream. Let's see, what do I think about this? I don't really think at all, actually. Abnormal mental fatic? Information on the Akasha? That doesn't sound right. I need to carefully think things. People from Sumeru do not dream. Abnormal mental fatic? People what was it again? in Sumeru don't dream. That doesn't sound right. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna eliminate this all. You mean the Akasha is causing our mental fatigue? Huh. Now that I think about it, my head's been feeling unusually heavy. When the desert dwellers set off on their quest for knowledge, a sage once said, knowledge always comes at a price. Compiling the entire country's knowledge. You think the Akasha pulled a 180 and is extracting information from us? But how will it do that? Who knows? The Akasha can put knowledge into our heads, so who's to this say that it can't also poke around in there? We don't know any specifics. What's the point of doing something like that? Just think about it. If you could combine the knowledge of every single person in Sumeru, then you can basically turn Sumeru City into a single massive brain.
This hive mind could make breakthroughs and problems that even the smartest geniuses can't crack. An excellent deduction. And the analogy comparing Sumeru City to a massive brain? <sighs> I love it. In that case, we should take off our Akasha terminals right away. Maybe that'll solve this problem. Um, okay, I guess it, yeah. it's worth a shot. I was only wearing this for show in the first place. Didn't expect the sages to cook up such a conspiracy. Mark my words. When this is over, I'm getting evidence and exposing this whole thing to the public. Okay, everyone removes their Akasha How terminals. How does everyone feel? Actually, I also noticed huh? something else. What is it? Uh, I feel like at the end of every day, there's always the sound of a beep. Oh, that! Paimon knows what you're talking about! It's a single soft beep that sounds like it's coming from the Akasha terminal. The sound of a beep? Could it be a prompt tone for when the Akasha is operating? I heard the same sound in Port Ormus. That's probably an important clue. We weren't using our terminals, but we heard a beep anyway. Okay, another beep now. Traveler, did you hear that? I heard it too. Our ears aren't messing with us. There was definitely a beep, but it sounded like it was coming from inside my head. We took off our Akasha terminals. Oh, what now? Phase runtime has exceeded its expected length, but we cannot. Okay, the lines is different this time. Uh, compared to when we use the the thing, the, the what is it called again? The Akasha. <clears throat> Ouch! What now? Paimon remembers everything. <laughs> Good. You adapted quickly this time. At the end of last we night. We took off our Akasha terminals last night, but we still heard that beep. Why is that? Mmm. We've been implanted with another form of the terminals. <sighs> but now we can at least confirm one thing: the Akasha definitely has something to do with whatever's trapping us in this cycle. Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. Why would the Akasha go this far if all it wants is everybody's wisdom? <clears throat> it's extremely difficult for lab rats in an experiment to understand why they're being treated the way they are. If we're lab rats, then what are you? Nahida, you've never told us anything about yourself. Hmm... I guess... I'm the moon. Okay, Nahida said that she's the moon. The moon? Wasn't that the result of our divination? Anyway, yeah. knowing who I am won't help you get closer to the truth, so you should focus on other things. Don't get distracted and miss any clues. <sighs> okay then. Dia helped us a lot yesterday, so let's go find her. If Paimon's reading the time correctly, those kidnappers should be showing up soon. Okay, the kidnappers should be showing up soon. This this time. <clears throat> So uh, our sense are. of time is pretty. Care of those kidnappers. My lady, did you get hurt? Hold on, something's not right. Dia? What's wrong? Why are you both gawking at me like that? You, you didn't get hurt this time. Huh? What do you mean this time? Why are you so surprised that I managed to get out unscathed? Those kids were amateurs. Um. Aren't you still getting used to your new great sword? How did you know about my great So Tia's lost her memories after all. During your battle, did anything feel anything strange? Anything strange? You already know that I got a new great sword. Hmm, it's as if I've already used it to fight a countless number of battles. You're saying that although you don't remember using it, your body feels like it does? That's right. Both mercenaries and warriors heavily rely on muscle memory. Only knowing the theory of battle won't get you anywhere. Traveler, mm. what do you think? Um, this has never happened before. Yeah, Paimon's feeling really hopeful. Is it possible that we've already broken oh, free? Oh, you're right! Earlier in the Samsara, something like this would have never happened! We'll know for sure at the end of the I day. I have no clue what you two are talking about. So you want us to take Dinyarzad somewhere else to rest while you check if there are still more kidnappers. 
Jennifer's around. How did you know what I was gonna say? Uh, forget it. Go and do your thing. Mm. Okay, another time travel, and we got this sage here again. This is getting even more interesting than I thought it's gonna be. It's finally night time. Aside from Dia not getting injured, everything seems to have stayed the same. Hmm. Listen, Nahida, we found out that Dia got out just fine today, even though she got injured every other time she fought the kidnappers. Do you think the samsara has been broken? Have we saved Dunyar's off? Really? Good job on all that progress. Hey, what kind of an answer is that? <laughs> That's so annoying. Tomorrow will come. Everyone assumes this is common knowledge. But the only way you can know that for sure is if you experience tomorrow. How many todays has it been? Is it possible that today will be followed by yesterday? Does tomorrow truly exist as anything beyond a made-up concept? It's even possible that this entire world is a lie, and the history of the whole world has just been one endless Subzerus festival. Okay, what? okay, no more! Paimon's brain is already shut down! <laughs> That's why it makes no sense to waste your energy thinking about things you will learn tomorrow. Get some good rest. You know, use the bathroom and flush your anxiety dookie away. Uh, uh, huh? Hold on, what did you just say? Huh? People always say they feel a sense of relief after they take a duke duke. That's why I suggested you could try that. Uh, it's so strange and... So against common sense that Paimon's at a loss for words. You were sounding kind of smart just a minute ago. We're going to get some rest yeah. anyways. Even though it's happy and lively at the Sub Zero's festival. Ah, oh, we heard this again. Compared to what we stand the sacrifices are trivial this time. No. We're still in the same day. As expected. Hey, Hida, you already knew last night that we didn't break out of the Samsara? <laughs> Would there have been a point? You that spent the night with new worries, with tomorrow still out of reach. In that case, you might as well rest within that brief moment of hope. An opportunity like that doesn't come by often, and I thought it might help you clear your mind. I'm a that the Duke Duke did that! Uh, <laughs> of course. In the time we've been together, you two have been everything to me. Uh, Paimon's flattered and everything, but maybe you're taking things a little fast. <laughs> what I mean is, even though I had asked you to solve this puzzle, you two are still the only ones who can see me and sense my presence. In other words, if you weren't here, I may as well not exist. That's why you two have been everything to me. Get it? Oh, if we weren't here, uh... Nahida may as well not exist. Nahida's talking about confusing stuff again. Anyway, that's enough chit chat. So, Traveler, did the new clues yesterday help you gain a new understanding of the situation? The time loop theory is indeed incorrect. <gasps> Why are you scrapping your previous theory? Um, Dehia's fighting skills have been improving, and the new Zart's illness has also gotten worse. In a simple time loop, people's physical condition should also reset. So... Okay, what's our new hypothesis? Well, it's not a time loop because Dehia gets tired more uh, despite the fact that we're restarting this day. Uh, bodily memory. Mercenaries rely heavily on muscle memory. And Dia was able to use her experiences to avoid injury in later Samsara cycles. Okay, we can associate this, but I'd like to interpret the moon, first. Illusions <laughs> and lies. Okay, I don't really think we need this. Uh, the Akasha sound. The is a prompt tone. Um. Okay, Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a gnosis. This this was the information we got before. We've already experienced the Subzerus festival many times, and the day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. Uh, let's see if we can associate with 
uh, around this bodily memories body memories and uh, the Akasha sound the information on the Akasha how about the Sub-Zero Festival Samsara hmm. no uh, a chemical definition results hmm. information on hmm. the Akasha the Akasha sound why is it why is it even related anyways Memories are delayed, are deleted every day. If all our memories of a day are erased at the end of that day, then we would unwittingly relive the same day again and again. Uh, memories are deleted every day. So looks like we're gonna submit this conclusion. <sighs> um, our memories are being erased at the end at the end of each day. <gasps> When we wake up, everyone thinks the Sub Zero's festival hasn't happened yet. It's already the next day, but everyone still thinks it's the day before. But what? muscle memory can't be erased. That's why Dia has been getting better at using her great sword. Now everything makes sense. Hmm, a brilliant deduction. But uh, how are the items are still the same? Rita, tell Simply, it's as if you've mistaken a pyro crystal fly for a firefly in the night. You lost sight of its true nature because you focus too much on your perception that it glows. That isn't simple at all! Still wrong conclusion, huh? Why don't you go talk to Miss Dia again? You might learn something new. Right! She did help us find her latest clue after all. Let's go! Okay, let's let's find her again. Dehia wait. Okay, we gotta go to the here this time. I'm just gonna teleport, you know. Okay, we're back here again. There you are. Really took me a while to find you. As expected, Dia also didn't get hurt today. Get hurt? Why would? Well, you're still getting used to your new. Huh. Truth be told, I also think it's pretty strange. It just suddenly felt so familiar in my hands and. It Wait a second. How did you know I got a new great sword to begin with? I didn't tell any Traveler, could you explain the situation to her today? Paimon's gotten a little sick of doing it. Hmm, let's just get straight to the oh, point. That works. Uh what should we tell again? You suddenly become proficient with your great sword because uh you've experienced this we lived through this same day many times already, and our memories of the day were are erased every what night. What happened to you guys while I was gone? Did you get brainwashed by some cult? Um, don't think too hard about it. Just take what we're saying at face value. All right then, let me get this straight. You're telling me that my body's already gotten used to this great sword? Yes, your memory's being erased every day. And I'd have to disagree. That's impossible. Oh? Why do you think that? If we've actually been reliving the Subzerus festival day after day, then what happened to the things we used, the money we spent, the food we ate? That is that's exactly what I would what's lingering on my mind. Common sense says my wallet should have emptied itself a long time ago. There's no way I wouldn't have noticed that. Yeah, me too. But if we the stages were behind this, if they utilized the entire city's resource resources. Right! They could use the Akasha to record what everyone did that day, and then use the city's resources to replenish everything! It's not very likely, but it's also not impossible. No, it is impossible. I've got proof. You and what would proof? it be? Where? You two are surprisingly serious about this nonsensical discussion. Come with me, Miss Dunyarzad. Please come along as well. I still can't guarantee that this area is safe. Okay, so what's next? Oh, we should we go that way? Uh, I'm just gonna teleport, I guess. No? Oh, no, no, I'm just gonna walk. Okay, let's continue here, this way. This is it. Huh? This is the wooden training dummy. What about it? See those marks oh. on the dummy? Those are the result of several days worth of practice. Let's say the sages didn't replace it every day. Shouldn't it be hacked to pieces by now? That's true, but what if they did? 
Then the sages would have had to reproduce every mark I left during previous training sessions. I'm a professional fighter. My martial school has always emphasized the importance of refined control. The force, angle, and entry point of each strike is calculated and deliberate. That's why I remember every mark on the dummy, as well as my state of mind as I made each strike. It's just as they say, each swordsman has their own unique style, and even the same swordsman can't make the same cut twice. It would be impossible to copy these marks. Is it really impossible? <gasps> What if they use some fancy machine to carve every single mark? People often say that a camera's photo can never replace an artist's painting because the former has no spirit to it. The same thing applies here. At a mere glance, I can differentiate carved marks from the results of combat training. Hmm, it seems we'll have to abandon <laughs> this story. Whew, I hope that cleared things up for you. Hey, is this that new brain exercise game that's been super popular with the scholars lately? It's surprisingly fun. Anyway, it's getting late. I should escort Miss Dunyarzad to Nilu's stage. See you later. Well, actually, it's gonna get cancelled. Well, back to square one. Is our memory deletion theory also wrong? <sighs> but at least we've reached some other conclusions in the meantime. We're not in the real world. Yep. That's true. So, can we think of any new ideas right now? Let me strange? think. Paimon feels like everything's been strange lately. Well, uh, how come we've never thought about leaving the city? <sighs> leaving the city? You're right! It's really strange. Paimon can't believe it! Did we miss this because we're tunnel visioning too hard on our other theories? Or because. How about we go back and ask Nahida? Hmm, let's see. Yeah, let's try to leave, leave the city. Um, so, okay, I gotta teleport this way. Good thing I already unlocked the waypoint over there. So we could travel faster. Let me just jump here for a faster travel, just like that. Perfect. Nahida, we're back! You're back early today. Did you find something new? Sort of. We're mostly sure now that we're not in a time loop. And we also aren't in the real world. But at the same time, we have a new question. What will happen if we try to leave the city? Hmm, leaving the city... As far as I remember, you've mentioned your plans to do that twice before. We did? Wait, what? But we don't remember anything. What happened after we talked about those plans? What did we say when we got back? <sighs> Let me think. I don't think you ever actually told me what the outcome was. Oh, it's probably more accurate to say that both times, you never came back the whole night. But you two sometimes stay out the entire night anyway, so at the time, I didn't think too much about it. It is true that sometimes we lose track of time during our investigations. Before we know it, it'll already be the next day. But still, neither of us remember anything about leaving town. Really? That's kind of strange. In theory, I should have already awakened all your memories. Mmm, let's try again tomorrow. Yep. Something here is definitely fishy. Okay, another thing of this again. Our memories are back! Okay, perfect. Let's go and try to leave the city today. Uh, about that? Well, where should Paimon begin? Traveler. Aside from your memories that were just restored, I have another listen to another it and you'll understand. Can't go back. There are countless spaces here. Our Subzeru's festival in Sumeru City is just one of them. It's just my own Traveler, place. You should be missing two days worth of memories. Paimon will fill you in. Two days ago? It's time to carry out our plan from yesterday. Okay, let's go. Okay, what's next? Talk to Nahida. No. I'll head to the city gate and find a way out. Okay, so this is our actual memory this time. Can I really teleport right now? I wonder if I could do the thing. Oh yeah, I want to have a little experience. I mean, experiment. Oh, okay, I just Why can't triggered we leave the... the city. 
What is the academia up to now? Don't ask me. It's not like I can tell you anything. This is a direct order from the Grand Sage. Just wait until tomorrow. I have a real emergency. Oh, I see. My goods have already arrived at Port Ormos. If I That's your problem. Make sure you make a but, but it's not like you can just predict business matters in advance. <laughs> oh, so this is what happened. I see. It looks like the academia already announced a lockdown for Sumeru City today. How completely unsurprising. Let's go and question them. Hello, sir. Why can't we leave? Here we go again. We just received an order that no one is allowed to enter or exit Sumeru today. They didn't tell us anything else. So the academia doesn't trust you at all. <laughs> Angering me won't get you anywhere. If I had that kind of insider info. Okay, so we cannot it leave. Looks like he really doesn't know. If we can't get anything out of him, let's take matters into our own hands. Why don't we climb over the walls? Those guards can't be everywhere at once. This is a good spot, and the guard hasn't noticed us at all. But, huh? Why? Are you going to leave Paimon behind? Uh, we need someone to stay at witness events from this side. But, but, what if things get really weird out there and you get into some trouble? Oh, Paimon knows that Paimon can't do much, but we've always been together. Um, don't we? worry, Paimon. If we have lived together, it'll just the same as before. Okay. Promise Paimon that you'll come back as soon as possible. And please... Okay, okay. So we're leaving alone without Paimon this time. Uh, memories. Memories. Let's go and try to leave the city today. Uh, what? What's wrong, Paimon? Uh, what did I promise? Hi, calm down. He's here now. I don't think he understood what you were saying. <laughs> Paimon doesn't care. Paimon wanted to go look for you, but you also said that Paimon should stay. Paimon was so worried and so scared the entire day. Um, also I don't remember doing any of this, but sorry, Paimon. I won't leave you behind. <gasps> Give you the most important thing is that you didn't actually disappear. Oh, Paimon was so scared that you had gone into another world. Okay, Paimon, can you tell us your perspective of what really happened yesterday? This is what exactly happened. I see. Mm, I see. Using two people's different perspectives. After that, you left the city. Paimon kept her eyes on you the whole time, but then you disappeared in an instant. Um, are you sure that was what you saw? No way! Paimon was watching you with the fullest attention. What's your perspective, traveler? You sure you don't have any memory of this? Yeah, I don't even know that yesterday existed. I guess that explains everything. You also lost your memories the last two times you tried to leave the city. Those days' memories can't be awoken. So, if we leave the city, our memories will be completely erased? You're also erasing the memories of those who leave. It really sounds like something big outside of the city is being hidden on purpose. But this way, we'll also never discover what's outside! Can we leave behind something other than memories? Something like... a message? But how can we send it back? D don't look at me like that. I'm, I'm not used to being stared at. Well... Okay, okay. You want something that can pass on messages, right? Give me some time and take care of Dunyar's ad for me. Yep! Now we're talking! This is getting even more interesting. And what's behind this roof? Okay, there's nothing. I thought there was something interesting like... Eavesdropper or stalkers, you know. And this is uh, the new Zerg. Uh, 
Okay, so what now? I'm done. Here you go. What? Isn't this just an Akasha terminal? I need some little changes. Akasha terminals are already capable of sending messages. I just tweaked it so that it could connect to any node. To make something like this? Nahida, you really know the Akasha like the back of your hand. Anyway, we can use this now to record a message, right? Yep. <laughs> I'll help you save the messages. It should be pretty easy to use. I just can't guarantee the user's status and signal coverage when they're outside the city. We'll never know until we try. At least we're taking the initiative now. It's worth a try, Let's yeah. Let's go then. Let's expose those sages. Uh, I still think you should stay. <sighs> Alright. Paimon isn't as worried about being separated since it happened once yesterday. But Paimon still isn't happy about it. Anyway, see you tomorrow, okay. Paimon. Hmm. That covers everything that's happened so far. So that message was what I left for myself when I left yes. the city. Although the signal was choppy and had some interference, we still managed to receive two messages from you when you were outside. Okay, now that you understand what's going on, let's hear the messages together. What is it? Again? Um... Can't go back. There are countless spaces here. Our Subserus Festival in Sumeru City is just one of them. can go back. I've entered another space. Before me are flowing sandstone and howling fish. Impossible and surreal sights. All these spaces are empty except for the occasional ones that contain mute puppets rather than people. I can't sense any human presence. And then? What's next? That's one heck of an info dump! It sounds like you left the Sumeru city space when you set foot outside of the walls. But everything looked completely normal when Paimon was looking out from the inside. That's unbelievable. And if we take your word for it, the other spaces all had very weird contents. There's another part here. We only received it last night. These spaces have been disappearing one after the other, absorbed by something like a sun in the sky. And now, even the final space has also disappeared. Behind me, a lot of spaces just appeared again from thin air. I get it now. Those spaces are actually... Uh, what was it? Uh, uh, why did the message end right there? What did the Traveler want to say? Probably because yesterday just happened to end at that moment. Oh, right. Paimon did hear a beep from the Akasha. Did it come from here or from the message? The message. It should have come from the Traveler's Akasha Terminal. After the beep, Traveler said even the final space has also disappeared. <sighs> Traveler, what do you think that final space could have been? Mm. The final space, the real world, Was I think? Was that space actually the real world? But wouldn't a real space just randomly disappearing like that be catastrophic? Without human presence. All the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city had one thing in common. A lack of human presence. The space where we were yesterday. My impression is that each day in this samsara only ends at the sound of that beep from the Akasha. I think the that real world? doesn't sound right. No? Okay, the space where we were yesterday, I think. Okay, exactly. Oh, so that's what it is! After the sound of the beep, the final space, the Subzero's festival, also disappears! And we're taken to the next day! Later on, Traveler also mentioned a bunch of new spaces materializing behind them! Do lots of new spaces appear every day? Paimon's head is spinning! Just what are these spaces anyhow? Well, consider this. For all the horrors of the Archon War, at its heart, it was just a game where a bunch of gods fought over seven seats. So no matter how strange or spooky things may look on the surface, maybe all they point to in the end is a small and simple secret. Wow, the Archon War, huh? 
That's an analogy and a half. A secret. Hmm. Uh, I think I, I like to organize hey, my thoughts. Where are you going? Though I don't really think about anything. Organize your thoughts on the familiar bench in the city. What do you mean by the familiar bench? Oh, the the bench we've we've been with. Uh, who is it again? Ah, I always you forget her name. Time, you think? <sighs> All right, then. Okay, this bench again. Okay, Dunya's heart is about to come, I guess. Coming here? No? Oh, the sun just set. And... Oh, she didn't come. Yeah. The dance thought... of some Zeros is about Wait. to begin. Wait. Okay, there she is. I'm going to go I thought out. I thought she didn't came. The dance of some Zeros. Okay. Um, why don't you go? With... Okay then. I'll see you later. Okay, she's getting even. Have her condition is getting even time worse. Time is ticking away. Awesome. What is it? Paimon wants to know. Oh wait, no. Let's meet up with Nahida first. You can tell us both. Okay, let's get let's get behind of uh the the to, to the bottom of this. I'm gonna teleport back here again. I mean, come on, what actually is going on here? It's not a time. It's not a time loop. It's not. It's not erasing memories. It's not even. Ah. Uh, I've been waiting forever for you two. Are you ready to take your Subzerius exam and crack? S O A, please. <laughs> okay. The hidden truth. Um, let's see. Information on the Akasha. What was it okay. again? Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. The Akasha relies on the power of Gnosis. This again, the hidden We've already answer. experienced the Subzerus festival many times, and. How about this All one? the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city had one thing in common a lack of human presence. A lack of human presence. Dreams with no human and presence. Those spaces remind me of. dreams. Like the one I had in the Avidia Forest. Yeah. Except these have no sign of human presence. Uh, how about the alchemical divina the divination result? Illusions and lies. What do they all mean? People from Sumeru do not dream. People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. Let's see, associate this one. And with the dreams with no human presence? The truth behind dreams. We are all in a dream. It isn't that the people of Sumeru don't dream. Rather, the Akasha is taking their dreams from them. Yeah, I think it should be that way. How about the others? Dreams with no human presence. The truth behind dreams. Should I submit this one? People in Sumeru think they don't dream. But the truth is, the Akasha steals their dreams without them knowing it. And those spaces with no human presence are stolen dreams without their host. That would explain why they sounded so weird when he was trying to describe them. Huh. Mm. So people in Sumeru do dream after all. In fact, we're all in one <coughs> big dream together right now. Correct answer. Now, how did you conclude that the Akasha is capable of this? Why the Akasha uh, is capable of this? It compiles the wisdom. Let's see. The Akasha's operation requires a gnosis. The Akasha relies on the power of a gnosis to operate. Yeah? It is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of entire populace. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace. And it grants knowledge, and it grants to, people. knowledge to the people. And uh, why is the Akasha capable? Um, <clears throat> compiles the wisdom of the entire populace. That doesn't gonna... sound right. How about and it grants people? That to... doesn't sound right. Okay, it doesn't sound right. Okay, so it should be around uh, between one or or two of this. 
Your is a manifest manifestation. Oh, okay. Those dream controlling creatures in the forest also get their power from the Dendro Archon, right? That would explain why the Akasha has the ability to control people's dreams too. Hmm. Those dream controlling creatures in the forest. Like, is stealing everyone's dreams really how the Akasha compiles their wisdom? Isn't there anything more to it than that? Dreams are fantastical, complex, and full of imagination. People's brains are the most active when they're dreaming. In other mm -hmm. words, dreams are rich bundles of human wisdom. So, in other words, the complete opposite of how Hypatia understood it. Parma remembers her saying that the sages think dreams are foolish delusions. And the fact that no one dreams is a blessing from greater Lord Ruka Devada. Hmm. So it was all a dirty trick? The real story is that the sages from the Academia are using the Akasha to steal people's dreams for their own use, huh? Yep, and they don't intend to stop oh? there. By the sounds of it, you understand the current situation pretty well. So then, what about the Samsara? What about the Samsara? The Samsara... The Green Sage bitch? The Grand Sage said, Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Did he mean... That doesn't sound right. Okay, that one doesn't sound right. I'm just... Uh... <laughs> I'm just passing. I mean, ah, okay. I always wrong in this, in this, uh, thoughts. The Akasha sound. The beep is a prompt tone for Akasha operations. Wait, I'm pretty sure it should that be this one, no? Right. The appearance and disappearance of spaces. Those spaces kept disappearing before my eyes. Oh, there's not a but as answer soon as here. that beep sounded, many more spaces. Uh, the appearance and disappearance of dreams. Those dreamscapes kept vanishing, but as soon as that beep sounded, more new spaces appeared. More new spaces appear. My mind feels. Uh, let's We've see. We've already experienced the Subzerus festival many times. Okay, I can associate this between one truth. Okay, how about the Akasa sound? Hmm. Uh, Green Sage Beach. Hmm. The Sub Zero Festival Samsara looks like this doesn't really. Wait! It really is! Wait! Okay, I definitely thought it. I definitely thought it didn't. Uh, it didn't associate with this. With the disappearance of dreams at all. But actually, this is the one. Correct! The Akasha is keeping each person's brain in a constant Which trance state, is... but also separating their consciousness from their own dream. Their disembodied consciousness is placed inside the collective dream of the Subzerus festival along with everyone else's, while their now vacant dreams are harvested by the Akasha. No one is any the wiser as another day passes in the dream, and so begins another Samsara cycle. People wake up to yet another dream about the Subzerus festival. The dreams that belong to them are once again harvested by the Akasha. And so it continues. So, this is like a dream factory. And the Akasha is a dream harvesting machine. Did Paimon get that analogy right? <laughs> Very good, Paimon. Using analogies well is an excellent habit to get into. Okay. So that beep we keep hearing is actually from our real-life Akasha terminals. Taking off our terminals in this stream doesn't do anything! Alright, last question. Who am I? Who are you? Um, illusions, lies, the moon? They say that alchemical divination is the Dendro Archon's divine revelation. So then, if Nahida has referred to herself as the moon... Uh, she might be the moon. <laughs> so you noticed. You are Lesser Lord Kusanali. Oh, so Nahida is exactly the Lesser Lord Kusanali, uh, I, I see. I thought that one would be the hardest question. That's why I put it last. <laughs> it hard at all. Even yeah. Time I guess that everything about you is different. We just didn't want to expose you, was all. Now that yeah. you mention it, Nahida, you've been hinting to us since the very beginning. It's funny. 
Thinking back to when we were asking all over the place for info about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Paimon didn't expect to meet you like this. But this doesn't seem like a good time. Yes, those can wait until we're back in real life. On the other hand, I'd be happy to answer any more questions you have about here and now. And... Why couldn't you simply tell us the truth? You asked me this question before. My answer was, now that you know this oh. is all a dream, this answer I should it. hopefully make more sense. Have you heard the saying, don't wake a sleepwalker? Likewise, if someone suddenly had told you all this instead of you learning it on your own, your notion of reality and dream would be thrown into irreversible confusion. I couldn't expose you to that kind of risk. Well... That's why I could only give you very subtle hints and some suggestions. Long story short, I'm really sorry I had to keep you guessing. But I don't really think I would mind that at all. I mean, is that even really affecting to my mind? How do the sages manage to keep people from noticing this? Firstly, this dream we're in is completely based on reality. People have already experienced this sub festival, so it would be very difficult for them to find anything that strikes them as surreal. Secondly, you're probably wondering why people don't have any memories from earlier samsara, right? That's yeah. because people don't remember their dreams most of the time anyway. And in any case, their actual dreams are being taken away from them by the Akasha. So whenever oh, they I wake see. up in this dream of the sub festival, they don't remember anything from their previous identical dream. That reminds Paimon! Traveler had a dream when we were in the Avidia Forest, but couldn't see what it was about after waking up. Is that an example of what you mean? Yes. Only after receiving hmm. the blessing of Dendro can a person gain the Dendro element's dream-enhancing power. That explains the feelings of deja vu. Only after, after receiving the blessing of Dendro can a person gain the, den gain the Dendro element's dream-enhancing power. Meanwhile, Everyone else has no idea that they are in the sub Festival Samsara, while their dreams are stolen from them over and over again. I see. Uh, about the side effects of a uh, mass produced dream. Can humans really keep dreaming forever like this? You might say your mental fatigue has already answered this question. Eventually, there is only so much that people can tolerate, especially those whose health is compromised to begin with. Like Dunyarzad. This relentless exploitation takes an even harder toll on them. People's lives are at stake here, and nobody knows a thing! Um, why is the dream about the sub festival? I know, right? Why did they have to base this dream on my birthday? Could it really just be a coincidence? Even you don't know the reason? Wow. Now that's strange. The Academia Sages are determined to harvest lots of dreams in a short time, no matter the cost. They have to be up to no good. Unfortunately, I don't know anything about it. Traveler, do you have any information? Hmm... Okay, information on the Akasha, the Green Sages' speech? The Grand Sage said, Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Did he mean something more? Go celebrate the birth of that god on your heart's content? I think it should be a direct... Celebrate place. the birth of that god? Could it mean... Yeah, I think it's you. Um... Deceiving the people of Samaru with no regard for their safety. No matter what they're trying to do, this is unforgivable. After exactly. After we end the sub festival, Samsara, we have to look into them. How can the sages of the Academia do this behind their Archon's back? This is ridiculous! In the end, I'm just the moon. The real sun is Long Khan. A sun and a moon? <sighs> Nahida's talking in riddles again. I'm pretty sure the sun is the greater Lord Rukadifada. Oh, we're at a I'll tell you how to break free of the Samsara tomorrow. Okay, see you then. So we're going to break out of this samsara. And hello there, Nahida. Good morning, Nahida. Uh, wait, now that Paimon remembers everything, should we instead say good morning, Lesser Lord Kusanali? <sighs> <laughs> hey, 
What's wrong, Nahida? You don't look too good. And where's Dunyarzad? I'm afraid that what you're thinking right now is correct. Did Dunyarzad already disappear? No way. Are... Are we too late? The real Dunyarzad's consciousness has indeed disappeared. It can no longer endure the constant dream harvesting. Uh huh. We're so close. Simon can't believe it. Wait. So what about that other Dunyarzad? She's actually something like a puppet, but not completely. The real Dunyarzad's consciousness could no longer keep playing her role in this dream. So another Dunyarzad appeared to replace her in the dream. Just like the grass and the trees, that Dunyarzad is just a building block of the dream that helps to keep it going. But personality-wise, she's nothing like the real Dunyarzad. Puppets are stiff and can't copy a living person's vitality. After all, they're just there as filler. You know, speaking of which, the old Dunyarzad might not have been too different from a puppet. Dunyarzad truly believed that she met you within her consciousness. And it was you who inspired her! So you do remember her after all! Yes. Back then, her family was overly protective of her. No one cared about her personality or thoughts. It was as if she only lived to stall her Elazar. I just gave her a little wisdom so she could look at life in a new way. So that she could be her own person. But even so, she still... It still meant a lot to her. Far from it. I'm still a long way off from being a real Archon. I couldn't even save her. If I were a competent Archon, I wouldn't have let my most faithful follower die at the Subzerus Festival with so many regrets. Please don't beat yourself up over it, Nahida. It's yeah. the Sage's fault, and theirs alone! I... Exactly. Um, I'm not beating myself up. All I did was to rationally observe the distance between myself and a real Archon. Don't be like that, Nahida. Even real Archons are still allowed to be sad. To prevent more tragedies like this, we must end the Samsara as soon as possible. Great, but how do we do that? Although the Subzerus Festival dream is under the Akasha's control, only humans can dream. Even the Akasha is unable to create them. That means this dream belongs to a host who created it. Huh? So, how should we find that person? Well, if this is someone's dream, then everything here must come from deep within their consciousness. Which means, with the power of imagination, they can change anything in this dream. Imagination? What? Imagination means breaking through what you perceive as normal. Like when a server at a tavern brings a plate to you, you'd naturally assume that food is on it. However, if you're the dream's host and you become aware that you're dreaming, when you imagine gold and more on the plate, the dream will respond in kind. And the server really will bring you gold and mora. But right now, our host is unaware that this is a dream. No matter how many times they're served, it will always be food. Find some way to make that person realize that they're dreaming. Usually, once that happens, the person will wake up and the dream samsara will be broken. How are we going to find okay. them though? If it could be anyone, it'd be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Uh, this is a lot even if we for me to process. Them, how are we supposed to make them realize they're dreaming? After all, like you said, don't wake a sleepwalker. It's extremely difficult, yes. But the only ones who can do it are you two. Remember, everything you've achieved up to this point has all been for the sake of finding the host and ending the samsara. As for me, uh, during this time, I'll be out of town. Out of town? Are you going to that place full of dreams where the Traveler went? Yes. I, I want to try something. There must still be a small wisp of possibility. Naringo! Mm, okay. Dreams are supposed to be fantastical, romantic, and full of pleasant surprises. Unnecessary things like this samsara need to end. <sighs> Paimon's still a little upset that we've come this far only for Dunyarzad to... To die? Such a no? Good person. With such a simple wish, but fate was against her. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so let's uh. Sweep this Do you up. think the 
sages would get one of their own to be the host of this stream. Feels like it would be easier to control it that way, no? I wonder about that. Um, knowing the plan, they probably become aware that they were dreaming. Huh? Let's see. That's true. Plus, the sages no, I don't really see it that way. Being other factors beyond their My control, mind's already worn like off. Nahida and us. So, who do you think the host of the dream is? Um, maybe Faris? Oh, that would make sense. Faris, the Knight of Flowers, is a symbol of the whole Subzeru's festival. Let's go ask him some questions. Okay, let's go ask him some questions. Talk to Nahida, talk to Faris, the Knight of Flowers. Um, this one over here, teleport. Just like that. Um, where exactly was he again? Okay, we just arrived. Hmm, um, you're back. You left in a hurry last time. I is everything okay? Everything's fine. Just, um, it's a little hard to explain. Um, An experiment? That came out of nowhere. Could you make a wish? Imagine your wish coming true before your you very want eyes. You to make a wish? Is that a new sub Zeru's festival tradition or something? What's going Okay, okay, my wish, my wish, um, okay, I'm a little nervous saying this out loud, but I want Miss Dunyarzad to be happy. Oh. I noticed earlier that she looked a bit down, and she wasn't really talking to anyone. She just doesn't seem like herself. She's always so gentle and kind, and all the kids love her. I've also wondered if the reason she asked me to be Ferris Knight of Flowers is because I'm special to her, or something. Okay, it's about remains, I think. So, you have a crush on Dunyarzad? Uh, yeah, seems that way. Just <laughs> uh, admit it, obvious. if you really love her. What I, just I mean, said, if you're really, at least if you have a crush on her. When she placed the hat of the Knight of Flowers onto my head, she you don't have said to, hide to me, it. I want everyone to have a happy sub -Zeru's festival. What she didn't realize was that I'm not that interested in how everyone else feels. In that moment, I just wanted to be her knight of flowers for the rest of my life. Fifty years, a hundred years, I'll serve her till the end of time. Okay, for me, this is undoubtedly a love. You definitely in love with her. Okay, yeah, that was a bit much. Felt like the right moment to get it off my chest, but <clears throat> that was pretty embarrassing. I know, right? I, I don't okay, understand. Okay, I'm ready to make my wish. I would like Miss Dunyarzad to appear in front of me right now with a smile on her face. Here goes. Please come true. Please come true. I'm and... gonna open my eyes. Oh. Oh. You're. What? What? What Funky? now? Uh, sorry, but only one portion of Yelda candies per person. Back home you go. <laughs> uh, nice try, you two. Anyway, never mind. I don't need to see her appear right in front of me. As long as she's happy. <laughs> uh, guess he isn't the host of this dream after all. Should have expected it wouldn't be this easy. Hmm, who dreamed this then? He doesn't. How about the Grand Sage it himself? Seems like everyone who knows Dunyarzad loves her. But none of them has any idea that she. She has the Elazar? Step back. That sounds like Dia! Oh, right. This is when Dinyarzad bumps into the kidnappers. I'll teach them a lesson they won't forget. Huh? But Dia can handle them! Hey, Traveler! Okay, let's see what we can do to fight these guys. <laughs> return to the... To the uh, come, oh, it's pretty far. Okay, we just return. What now? Oh, it's you. Great timing. Please take. Please take, take you, don't yourself okay, and leave. This is my job. The homie Yanni's pay me, not you. You're wasting your breath. You, ugh, fine, all right. Knock yourself out. Why are you so worked up anyway? Anyway, watch yourself. Okay. Okay, we'll be the so ones you to got fight this guy. <laughs> No, you're the ones going down, okay? 
And I have this one. Finally, another fight. Let's dance. It's been a while since the last time I'm I'm having a fight here because no of escape. this uh headaching. I mean, you know, this stuff. It's just it just weren't up. Ouch! Works out my mind really bad. Okay, great. Just like that. Illusion shattered. Illusion shattered. Nice one. Um. Okay, perfect. Scatter. Okay, this should do the trick at least. And I'm gonna end it with this one. Are we still have a bunch of guys to fight with? Okay, I guess there we still have. Somebody. Over here, one down, and the last one should be here. Also, anyway, I'm gonna try the out now. Bloom. Hyper Bloom. Nice. Okay, easy one over there. Traveler, were you just taking your anger out on those guys? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, you and Nahida both. Dunyarzad wouldn't want to see you two like this. Oh. And speaking of her, Paimon just remembered something. Remember how during the first Sub-Zero's festival, before the Samsara started, we came here with Dunyarzad because she wanted to pick something up? Uh, she said it was because she had forgotten something. Uh, okay. okay, so Paimon's memory is working so far. Anyway, Paimon also remembers that she is staying somewhere around here. She pointed it out to us the night before the Sub-Zero's festival. Can we check out what the item yeah. is? Even if it's only a tiny clue, it'll probably still help us more than this. This is the place. It's rude to enter other people's spaces without permission, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Hey, uh, the what windows now? are unlocked. Okay, let's okay. go to the windows. Uh, and gonna... yeah, take a peek. Returns while later carrying something. This was only a temporary residence, so there was pretty. Should we open it? After almost 16 days, I was finally. Okay, I'm gonna read this. Okay, that's all. Wow. Dunyarzad wrote all of this. Sounds like she was always thinking of us even while we were away. Even though she was also busy preparing for the Subzeru's festival and had all her health problems to worry about, she must have wanted to give this to us as a gift on the day of the Subzeru's festival, right? If we hadn't found this book, we never would have known. But now that we know, we can't even thank her. I wonder if this is actually Dunyarzat's dream instead. Hey, where are you off to? Let's see if I could find where's where's the Dunyarzad? Okay, yeah, the not the not the real one, of course, because the real one is actually disappeared uh, in front of uh, uh, while we were with Nahida, and she should be around here. I should have just teleported instead of running away this way. Actually, okay, we just arrive over here. And what now? It's Dunyarzad's puppet. Um, I'll feel better if I say this out loud. Dunyarzad's puppet. Thank you. Traveler. What now? You must be exhausted. Come to think mm. of it. We've been stuck in this place for a really, really long time. Heck, even the last time we were chatting happily with Dunyarzad <coughs> feels like an eternity ago. Yeah, we definitely have been looping this for many times. You know? It was just like this when the first time we talked with her just recall these memories Paimon still remembers when we were sitting here and the way her <clears throat> eyes sparkled when she talked about Milu's dance of sub -Zeros. I can barely recall there it now there will always be frustrations in life but I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets 
Was that the same thing she said earlier? That was what the said, wasn't it? Does that mean... Um, Dunyazad? Yes, Traveler. What is it? Oh. So she's still just a puppet. But just now, how come... Uh, let's what? go, Baimon. Where are we going this time? Looks like to watch the dance of Subzerus. <clears throat> are we gonna uh interrupt the sages warning about the Subzerus dance? Let's see what what is going on here. I'm just gonna enter the hall, the Grand Bazaar. And of course, just as the same, we'll see this scene. If you continue to resist, the Grand Sage. I'm gonna skip this one. Okay, looks like there's something different this time. Oh no, it's just the same. Whatever. Uh, traveler? Traveler. Traveler? What the heck are you doing? Okay, we You're definitely. This is something different. Okay, the both of them. Wait, what? Wait, they're not reacting. Have they been scared stiff? Just like I thought, they're puppets. Oh, of course. If this is the sage's plan, they wouldn't put themselves through this. Yeah. So they're just. They're just substitutes. What is this? What happened to the grand sage and his entourage? Uh, what's up with those flowers? Like I said, they symbolize the goddess of flowers. It's just a shame that all the real Padisars went extinct after her death. Yes, the greater lord brought forth new Padisaras in memory of the goddess of flowers. But she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful... Hmm... Ah, uh, that beautiful shade of purple! Aren't these flowers real Padisaras? Just like the ones from the legend? I didn't even notice! But didn't you just say all the real flowers went extinct after the goddess of flowers passed away? So, how? Yeah. What's going on here? Uh, Nilu, close your eyes. Uh, huh? Imagine that the Grand Sage and his entourage are not here in front you of you. You guys are acting weird. Hmm. They disappeared! So Nilu's the host! What a surprise! Purple exactly. Padisaras don't exist in the real world anymore! But in Nilu's subconscious, they can appear as decorations on the stage! It's just like the example Nahida told us. People assumed there will be food on a plate, and Nilu assumed there would be real Padisaras in the flower pots! So when you saw the flowers, you instantly knew it was Nilu? Correct. If we want to end the samsara, we need the host to become aware that they're dreaming. How should we make Nilu realize that? Am I dreaming? Huh? How did you come to that conclusion? <laughs> so I'm right. Is this Lesser Lord Kusanali responding to our celebration of the Sabzerus festival? Wrong guess, but you aren't completely wrong either. The point is, what made you think this is a dream? As far as you know, people in Sumeru don't dream, right? Yeah, but have you heard the tale of the first sage? To prevent a calamity, he went on a journey to find the Dendro Archon. Ooh, sounds familiar. Dunyarzad told us a story like that when we first arrived in Sumeru City. So, it was about the first sage, huh? Yep, but in the part you heard, he hadn't become the first sage yet. There's more to the story. His piety and wisdom were acknowledged by the Dendro Archon, and she finally gave her blessing to him. All kinds of spectacular scenes appeared in front of the First Sage, as if all the knowledge in the world was being painted onto a canvas right before him. He was captivated. After who knows how long, he mastered all the knowledge he could comprehend. Afterward, he said to the Dendro Archon, I miss my parents, my wife, and my children. I've been away from home for far too long. They must be worried. The Dendro Archon smiled. The next second, the sage found himself lying in his bed, as if he had just woken up from a dream. 
His wife lying next to him said, You're off to search for the Dendro Archon today, aren't you? Have a safe journey, my love. In the end, the first sage took care of many disasters in Sumeru City and founded the Academia. <sighs> what a happy ending. I don't really get so, it. So, the first sage was dreaming ever since the beginning of the story? He never went on his journey? Yes. But his faith and determination were conveyed to the Dendro Archon, so she blessed him in the form of a dream. Paimon understands uh... where you're coming from now. That's a really interesting connection. But we really gotta wake up soon, like the sage in the story! This room should be over, over I see. soon. Well, it just so happens that today's Sub Zero's festival is almost over, too. I guess. Since we're in a dream, let's make this final dance of Sub Zero's as beautiful as we can. Okay, so we're finally able to see Nilu's dance. Please dance your heart out. this to our god the dance of sub -Zerus. I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Nilo's dance. Oh, there she is. The news up. dream is about to come to an end or so I hope hmm interesting is that all good morning traveler oh my mom feels like she's been asleep Good morning, Paimon. Paimon's head feels super heavy. Paimon thinks it was after the sub festival. The sub festival! Have we finally escaped from the sub samsara? Yeah, I, I Paimon, think I remember now. Terminal. At the end of the dance of sub I think I saw... The new Zart. Yeah. I saw the new Zart. And let's go back to her. And where is... Could she be? How about Nahida? She's not in her room. What happened? Huh? Let's go what to the usual, usual spot. spot. Find the new resort. Oh, the usual spot. I knew it. It is supposed to be Nahida's place. Let's go this way, and there he she is. Perfect. Now it looks like she's Welcome, fine. Traveler and Paimon. And thank you, Dunyarzad, for organizing the sub festival for me. I'm sorry, who are... Dunyarzad! <laughs> You're okay! Oh, don't scare us like that! Oh, a uh, Traveler Paimon, I have something amazing to tell you. I just had a dream, and I saw Nilu performing the dance of sub Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I guess the chapter, the act two is finally complete. And now, talk to Catherine. This Catherine is definitely Nahida, not I'm I'm sure of it. But anyway, I'm just gonna I'm going to Oh, it's still it's still on act two. Okay, I'm I'm gonna talk to Catherine. You're actually Nahida, aren't you? Paimon felt like Catherine was acting weird when we met at the Sub Zero's festival and Exactly. It's a really long story. We shouldn't disturb her. Her consciousness is still weakened. Let's chat somewhere else. Hmm, how about by the traveler's favorite bench? Oh no, the bench again. <laughs> now, this reminds me of an anime which is talking a lot about the bench. <laughs> but anyway, let's teleport back and go to the bench. Yeah, the bench. We just. Oh! We just instantly get through. Okay. Okay, over here. Let's talk about Dinyarzad first. Mm hmm. After we parted on the last day of the Subzerus Festival, I left the city and saw what the Traveler had described. Among the countless dreams, I found one that was growing fainter and fainter. This proved my suspicion. Once Dunyarzad could no longer bear the Akasha harvesting her dreams, her consciousness began to dissipate. But this also meant it escaped the Akasha's control. Such a small fragment of consciousness can't last for very long though. It will return to its original dream where both will gradually fade until they completely disappear. I used all the power I had to keep her dying dream alive as long as possible, but it still wouldn't have lasted for much longer if it hadn't been for you two breaking the samsara. Oh, so I see. Like we did manage to save Dunyarzad in the end! Not a moment too soon! A very happy ending. Huh? Why are you two smiling so happily? I thought you'd be so moved that you'd start crying. Mm. <sighs> I need to spend more time observing human emotions. Both are fine. Everyone reacts differently. All right. You two must have a lot of other questions for me, right? After all, you saved my faithful believer. As your reward, I will answer any and all questions. Um, okay, first of all, why do you look like Catherine this time? Catherine's consciousness. Uh, how did you do that? Poor Catherine. Uh, does this mean you can also occupy other people's consciousnesses? Theoretically, I can enter anyone's mind as long as they're wearing their Akasha terminal. The Akasha is the legacy of Greater Lord Rukadevata. As Lesser Lord Kusanali and the first Akasha terminal, my consciousness has always been linked to the Akasha. I've always okay. respected my people's free will, so I've never actually occupied their consciousness. When necessary, I just borrow this bionic Snishnayan puppet. Uh... Snishnayan. Oh, hold on! Did we just learn some deep, dark secret? What about your own body? Why do you need to borrow other people's? That story begins a long time ago. After Greater Lord Rukadevata disappeared, the sages found my newly born self and took me back to Sumeru. At that time, I was young and weak. The sages kept me in the sanctuary of Suristhana, ostensibly for the sake of protecting me. But I've hardly heard from them since. However, I do understand that they had hoped to find Greater Lord Rukadevata instead of me, a symbol of her passing. So the sages basically put their new Archon under house arrest? How dare they? Why don't you teach them a lesson, Nahida? In some ways, they aren't wrong. Greater Lord Rukadevata was omniscient and omnipotent. Even after her death, the Akasha is still empowering this nation. And I... I'm still really far away from being able to call myself the God of Wisdom. Moreover, mm. the Academia is also more proficient at governing this country. My existence has little meaning. For me, you're already an excellent Archon, yeah, actually. You got a lot of believers! Just look at the sub -Zero's Festival! <laughs> Thank you for the kind words. But I honestly don't need physical freedom as long as I can connect my consciousness to the Akasha. Trying to find a way to save Ermin Soul is my life's mission and top priority. I will work on that and try to live up to being a deity in the meantime. 
save Ermin's soul. Wild, what exactly is Ermin's soul? They will take up the duties of the God of Wisdom and enlighten a lost soul here and there. Doing all that should be enough. Um, I saw the similar dream when I was first visiting Sumeru in the Aphidia Forest. At the Aphidia Forest, there was this incense that made the traveler fall unconscious and dream of a huge tree in a red sky. You also heard someone's voice, right? It said world and forget me. Yeah, so you do know! We've been wanting to ask you what that was about and if the red sky was related to Conria. Hmm. It seems like the Traveler established a connection to Erminsoul. That was a message left by Greater Lord Rukadevata's residual consciousness in Erminsoul. Perhaps her last memory before she died. As you two probably know, Greater Lord Rukadevata disappeared after the disaster in Conria. The timings of these events do line up, so your suspicions are reasonable. A message from Greater Lord Rukadevata? We thought it was from the Scarlet King! The Scarlet King? That god who died even longer ago? Uh, some present-day desert dwellers still worship him. You probably just heard some of their conspiracies. Okay, so what does the message mean? Uh, I still haven't managed to decipher it. Even the Akasha isn't currently capable of doing that. Greater Lord mm -hmm. Rukadevata's residual consciousness in Ermansoul seems to be contaminated with something that has a very dangerous aura to it. Many devoted scholars go mad as soon as they connect their consciousness. I've warned the Academia about this many times, but people still keep falling victim to it. But I believe this is the key to saving Ermansoul. That's why I've kept trying to decipher it. So the tree in the vision was Ermansoul? Oh, Tainari also said that Ermansoul is sick! Is it because of the contaminated consciousness? But even if you can't figure out what that vision was all about, it seems like our search for you was all in vain. The Traveler wasn't affected after coming in contact with that consciousness. I've never seen anyone like that. With you here, we may have a chance of deciphering it. The Traveler wasn't affected after after coming in contact with that consciousness. I've never seen anyone like that. No, we must decipher its secrets. I've already eliminated all other factors that might affect Ermansoul. This puzzle has life and death at stake. It could determine Ermansoul's fate, as well as to that's. About the Sage's There's plan. never been any big problems with the Academia's governance of Sumeru. This is the first time I've seen them step out of line. I wonder what caused them to go down this path, and what they hope to achieve. Even though the city's residents haven't noticed anything strange, if the Traveler hadn't broken the Subzeru Samsara, the situation could have become dire. I tried to do some investigating in the Akasha. I think they're deliberately trying to hide something. Oh, that reminds Paimon! In Gundarvaville, there was a sage who had invited Kainari to join some kind of project. Could it be related? Regardless, I need to first investigate the sage's motives, make things right, and punish them if needed. But I'll have to be discreet, or they'll see me coming. Mm, no one has realized the issue with the Akasha. You mean how the Akasha stops you? Yeah, it's been such a long time. It's not that no one noticed. It's more like no one cared. Ultimately, it's all rooted in the Sage's misdirection. Misdirection? The Sage has convinced exactly everyone to believe that being unable to dream is a sign of rationality and wisdom. Not dreaming is a badge of honor in Sumeru, even if the truth is that their dreams are being reaped by the Akasha. With their propaganda in place, the Sages can maximize their use of the Akasha to facilitate their research. Besides, Greater Lord Rukadevata must have created the Akasha in the hopes that it could be used to its full potential. That's why I've never come out strongly against this. <sighs> anyway, the perspective advocated by the sages drowned out any voices of doubt. By now, even those who never use Akasha terminals find it too shameful and embarrassing to talk about their dreams. Okay, I guess that's all for Got the it. questions. I hope my answers were satisfactory, seekers of knowledge. <sighs> to be honest, maintaining Dunyarzad's fading dream took a lot of mental energy. Oh, 
And you don't need to worry too much about the Sage's activities for now. The Akasha won't be able to conduct another project on the scale of the Subzeru Samsara in the immediate future. Go and get some sleep. <laughs> what a relief. Okay, I guess that's all for the mm -hmm. Act 2. Traveler? Paimon? Why am I here? Do either of you know? Okay, the actual Catherine is just came back. Why? Maybe you were sleepwalking. You know you can't wake up a sleepwalker. We, uh, we happened to walk by, so we thought we'd wait for you to wake up. I see. Huh. Okay, we actually I lied to Catherine. <laughs> sometime. Oh, I'm fine. I better go. Thank you. Okay. Okay, looks like that's all for the Act 2. It was a pretty long run here. Props of 30 requirement. Um. Okay, I guess that's all here for now. Also, we have Tinary's quest. Uh, let me unlock this. And I'm gonna do it later, of course. Oh, there it is. It's just a peer and I have to finish this all including commission quest. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and see you on my next next content and peace out.